Take an honest look about what's going on in your life. What's working, what isn't working. What isn't working, really examine it. Find out what you're doing to cause it, okay? And if it's not you causing it and you honestly think it's something else or someone's just holding you back, guys, as much as it might hurt, cut them loose, man. Cut them loose. You're going to find such more growth and opportunity and you become a better person, stronger person where you're really able to help them if you want to later in life. If you want to later in life. Depression, frustration, anxiety, pain, disillusion. It's just a natural part of the process of becoming a stronger version of yourself. It happens to us spiritually and it happens in the world physically. And what is about motivation, guys? You know, I can tell you, you can learn it, you can teach it, you can study it, whatever you want to do. You learn everything there is about the gym, how to transform your body, how to grow muscle size, how to burn fat, how to get in, you know, more greater aerobic strength and anaerobic strength. All that stuff's great, guys. It's kind of like going to school, you know, to study to be, you know, a lawyer and going through all the tests and everything else, but failing the bar. So therefore, you can't practice what you've learned. So therefore, it's all for fucking nothing. So everything, you might know everything about it, guys. But if you don't go to the gym and apply it, the fuck you doing? The fuck you doing? Ask yourself, what's blocking you? What's preventing you from acting? Why don't you have the courage to handle that? Why won't you face that? What are you running away from? What kind of avoidance behavior are you engaged in? I need you to get in the zone. And the reason why I need you to get in the zone is because zone is where maximum life is. Some of what you want, some of what you're trying to get ain't in the comfort zone. And so if what you want is not in the comfort zone, you got to come out of the comfort zone to get what you want. So the reason why people don't put action behind their work and, and, and their thought process and, 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 and what they're saying it's because they lose the motivation. They lose that fire inside to keep the engines running through those hurdles of life, adversity, and, and they get shut down, they get beat down for a lot of different reasons. Mainly because they don't have a good plan of attack. They're, tr they're trying to take too much on at one time and, and, and they don't know what they're up against and they're just getting beat down. They really aren't, but they're just getting overwhelmed and it's like, fucking them out, man. It's too much for me. This might be a page in your life. It might even be a chapter in your life, but it ain't the book, baby. You are not finished writing yet, so I need you to get busy living. Are you hearing me? I need you to get busy living. There is still time. As long as there's breath in your nostrils, as long as you can wake up in the morning, listen to me, you still in the game, which means if you're in the game and there's still time in the game, still time left in the game, you can still win the game. You gotta start squeezing so we can get more out of it. And then once we hit that wall, we don't quit, we don't give up. We push a switch called wheel and we start using our willpower. We go into wheel, yes we tired, yes we're hungry, yes the mind is saying give up, yes it's saying quit, but we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not the goal. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is what I talked about. This is not what it looks like. You, know, you got to know where you at. Are you hearing me? You have to know where you are. All right? If you're going to get in the fourth quarter living, you got to be honest with yourself first about where you are. Right? Where am I? Right? Be, just be real. Am I lazy? Right? Am I not motivated? Right? Am I a starter? Am I not a finisher? Do I, what am I? You got to ask yourself. You got to be real with yourself. And if you're going to get the fourth quarter living, and you got to know your limits. comfortable with being uncomfortable. Are you hearing me? You have to get to a place where you become comfortable with being uncomfortable.